Shalom Aleikum. Shalom to the 12 tribes of Yashara that are scattered. We're not lost. We're scattered. And hey to the Gentiles that are following after God's righteousness. I am back, excuse me, y'all, with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be expanding upon silly women laden with sin and some of the snares and the traps that they fall into. <music> I felt compelled in my spirit to talk about this because due to, like I said, it's been like this gender war uh, uptick of content between melanated women and melanated men. You guys know that I talk about not being in agreement with either because as a Yasha Relite, we've been given strict instructions and we don't get into a uh, wicked activity because long story short, that sort of uh, gender war content is not new it is roman and grecian and it's meant to lead you in opposite directions from each other and you know what kind of road you going down doing that now we're not i'm not here to talk about that in this video but i feel the need to talk about what some of the female melanated content creators have been doing because i've been seeing content that has really been burning me up and when i say burning me up do not I'm a, and I'm going to make this statement. I cannot stand when people try to blame God, who y'all call God, but his name is uh, Yahweh, Yah. Some of y'all call him Ahia. His name is Yah, okay? I cannot stand when people try to blame Yah because they're stupid. They do not study to show themselves approved. They just listen and follow after people like uh, blind pigeons. I cannot stand that. So I've been seeing like an uptick of like female content creators. They're like, I hate when people misquote uh, scripture. I, I hate when people uh, who do not really read the Bible try to quote the Bible, who do not study uh, what they call religious books, who and they try to quote these books. Like it's so unlearned. It's so irritating. And it's like you leading people astray. The Bible don't have nothing to do with your lying pastor lying to you to get you in the bedroom. The Bible don't have nothing to do with you not having common sense and allowing a man to use the Bible to manipulate. Manipulating been a thing since, since the enemy got to the world. Lying been a thing. As long as a man or a woman got a mouth, lying been in existence. After the fall, lying and sin was in existence. So it's like the same way, like I don't, even if a person wasn't religious, which I'm not religious, but the Bible don't have nothing to do with religion anyway. Like Christians, they try to claim the Bible, but it has nothing to do with their religion. Their religion is baby Catholicism. Okay. It came from Catholicism when they, all of the crusades and stuff was happening. This is historical, uh, factual. We'll go look it up. The whole Bible is about the Yasharalite people. They go to the back to the bloodline of Yaakov. Yaakov, who's blessed, blessed prince, one who wrestled with uh, Yah, his name was changed, right? So that family line, it's a physical because the Christians people, they, they get out here and they try to act like it's not a physical. It's a physical bloodline of people. Your whole, every person pretty much in your Bible that has wrote a chapter in the Bible was a Yasharelite. And they talk about the tribe they from. Oh, I'm a Benjamite. Oh, I'm I'm an Ephraimite. Oh, I'm from the house of Joseph. Like, and it talks about who begot who for a reason. Okay. Now, how Christianity got it is when the Crusades happened and the Yasharelites, because of, of sin and the Most High being fed up with them because we have a covenant with him, he was like, no. You, you, you're going to go into, uh, captivity. He took us out of captivity, um, from Egypt, but just, we, we have ungrateful ways and, and, and sinful ways. And so us having that covenant with him forever, he was fed up just like in a relationship, like anybody would, you would be fed up with a person. So we'd be like, I right, listen, I, I'm gonna have to separate from you for a minute because you you doing you keep on doing this foul stuff okay and that's what happened we ended up 
uh, he said, you want to live like the pagans and the heathens, I'm going to let you go do that. The same way a, a female in a relationship, if a dude want to be for the streets, you're going to say, oh, you could be for the streets. So that's the little backstory on that. Go research that. Basically, it was either get down or lay down. It was if you was a Yasharalite, they had their foot on your neck. Okay, when we got sent from Spain and Grenada, uh, Grenada to uh, Morocco and West Africa, and some of us, we fled into Africa and all of that other stuff, you know, all that good stuff, okay? And then that's how we got the transatlantic stuff happened from there. So, but it was, it was, it was several uh, exile things going on, like there's different migrations or whatever. You just got to do your historical research, but I had to lay the foundation work for that to talk about that so like i said getting back to it i cannot stand when people who don't know the history of the, the torah people who do not actively read the bible and these ladies sit around misquoting the bible and have the nerve to say oh the bible is and, and this this not realizing that they're talking from male perspective the bible ain't nothing but a patriarchy book to control women. And it's like, if you really knew the most high, because <laughs> I know that you don't. I know that you don't. If you really knew the most high, you would know that the most high was very much protective over his daughters and still is. Okay. The most high has destroyed whole uh whole cities for the uh for one for just one of his daughters. Okay. We seen what happened. With, with several situations in the Bible, Dina being one of the situations where a whole group of people had got lit up because of the, the, the flowerment of Dina. Then when the Most High even thought Sarah was about to be taken because Abraham had folded and was sitting there acting like that wasn't his wife when he know doggone well and the Most High did not want that seed line to be tainted. He had a plan for Sarah and Abraham the Most High went to the man and said, you touch my daughter, it's, it's up, basically. So you just have to read the scriptures. Like, I, I cannot stand when these people, these are wicked people that do this. These are wicked women and wicked men who they do not read the Torah, but they misinterpret and misquote scriptures because they're lying pastor. They're lying a bishop. Been lying to them their whole life. And it's like everything that their uh, that religion has taught them has been a lie. They don't go find out stuff for themselves because if you read the Bible, you still got people today that is talking about the Bible say, come as you are. You still got people today with this foolishness talking about um, what's what's one of the what's one of the, the, the real ones that they get into. Like it's it's just do not misinterpret and misquote the bible if you are not called to be uh, out here preaching the bible or trying to talk about the bible and this is why it tells you to study to show your own self approved because a lot of the stuff that they get into um and they misquote is leading people astray because if in fact a female was really in the bible it talks about you not cheapening yourself right do not cheapen yourself. Don't let it don't don't cheapen yourself like a silly woman and following after um these these wicked men that they proclaim that they just in the first of all it talks about that. They proclaim that they in the truth because a lot of women, this is how they get hit up. They be desperate, they want a man, and they thinking that they're gonna find a man at the church when everybody knows that the devil comes to church. The devil comes to the church because if you read the Torah, it clearly will tell you that them, them buildings is not the physical church. That's number one. And number two, there is protections and provisions set up on how a man and a woman is supposed to interact with each other to keep uh, this, I'm going to say, degeneracy in relationships from happening. But then you have these women, these wicked women who want to spew this feminism mess that they done got from men because behind all this immodest stuff is men and i listen i'm this is not me uh spewing a, a gender uh lash out at men because as i said 
Is it righteous men? Yes. Is it wicked men? Yes. Is it righteous women? Yes. Is it wicked women? Yes. You just have to know that we're in a wicked fallen world and people are not looking to, uh, a lot of them are not looking to edify you and uplift you. So you have to test a spirit. You have to look at a spirit and you have to test that spirit to see how, who is that person coming in the name in. Because a lot of these charismatic preachers are like Hasatan, who he convinced the, the angels that went with him that he was going to give them kingdoms and the rest of this stuff with, with temptation and all the rest of that stuff. Which leads me into my next point on how these women get into silly woman laden with sin activity out of desperation. Because these men are telling you with their interpretation of what a Proverbs 31 woman is, but you're not reading Proverbs 31 for yourself. They're telling you be a doormat because they are of their father, the devil, which they push this submission doctrine, but they push it from a satanic type of way. See, they like to twist the scripture. That's how the, the, the enemy is. He'll give you a bit of the truth but then twist it, which makes it then become a lie. You cannot have truth and a lie at the same time. So it's once a person put the truth out there and they add a little sprinkling of a lie, the whole thing then becomes, you have to go find out the truth for yourself because the person is not trying to be forthright and upcome, forthcoming with you. So you can't have a pure thing of water and then sprinkle a little thing of Kool-Aid in there and say it's still water. You got to go and get a whole fresh cup to, you know, renew that cup of water, okay? So, let's talk about this. Or you got to have a filtration system, but even then, you got to filter out these lies these people want to tell. Because people, at the end of the day, we live in a fallen world. So, any silly woman laden with sin, under overstand, we live in a fallen world where people have their wicked agendas that they want to fulfill. I talked a little bit about some of these men that have these wicked agendas like um, polygyny and all that other stuff. And they really think that that's coming to uh, the new kingdom that the Most High has set up. And clearly, if they, like I said, this is why you have women out here because they following after wicked amen. Like the yes, yes, um, yes, um. And they sitting out, out here following these men because they're exuding a false sense of charismatic and masculine energy not realizing that the most high clearly describes what type of man is a righteous man that man is going to be walking in spirit and truth and anybody that is walking in spirit and truth their main objective is not edifying lust in the flesh their main objective is yah's objective yah's motivation yah's will not my will father but your will so if they're operating where they're clearly wanting to operate from a fallen state because we know what Yah's perfect or um, ideal was because he told us in the beginning, in the beginning, he told us what his perfect uh, will was. So please understand that we know that he's going to take us back to his perfect will. So you clearly know that all the stuff that transpired and it happened from the fallen state is not going. So if you have these men spewing this stuff and um, this person did this, this person did that. If you're not looking at men or women of the Torah that was going after Yah's perfect will or trying to fulfill Yah's perfect like prophecies and things like that, then it, it's kind of like you don't need to be following those people. Because the most high, and this this is why I have to dispel the, the, the silly woman laden with sin, oh, come as you are, uh, ideology. You cannot present yourself to Yah any way that you want to present yourself. That goes for men and women. It's things that we think is good that could get us lit up by the most high. If the most high say, this is my expectation, you don't get to touch the Ark of the Covenant because you're not Levitical. Don't touch the Ark of the Covenant. Only I only want this group of people touching the Ark of the Covenant. Do you know what happened to that man? I forget what his name is. Who went and touched the Ark of the Covenant when it was it was falling? He got lit up. The Most High took him out of here. 
So it's a lot of men that they promote that they're righteous just because they're of the bloodline of, of Yasharal, some of them, because some of them is cap. Okay, like you can look at some of them features and it's not giving. Okay, but some of them are cap. Some of them have their own motivation for why they want to do stuff. They are of their father, the devil. How do you know that they're of their father, the devil? Because the devil is constantly concerned on submission in a trying to dominate you type of way. Because getting being submissive to Yah is totally different, right? Yah gives you the reasons why. Like he shows you why. He kind of like he's he's a he's a he's a the father is 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 gentle, I would say strong in ways. So when he's trying to like it's really comical, really, when you think about it. He's very like loving, but he's a all he's also a, a I would say or a man of war too when he's ready so it's kind of like how i would describe it he doesn't reign in a tyrannical way he's a he's very much a gentleman like he wants you to invite him he wants you to voluntarily invite him to submit to him because you love him because you want him to be there he doesn't like he's all supreme think about this he's all supreme but he's not like he gives a he gifted us free will so think about that like a person a being that's all supreme but he then gave us free will to kind of teach us and get us to you know ascend to like a higher place like it's kind of like he put us in he you know we he allowed us to come here to the world and we have these experiences and he's looking to see, okay, my child over here is righteous. I see that she determines and she uses discernment. She uses the Ruach to abstain from certain activities. And she's convicted in her spirit, which means that her heart is in a good place, is in a, is in a place that I needed to be in. And I can work on her and build her up to be what i need her to be to fulfill my will she's open to it she invited she invites me it's kind of like you have parents and you know your parents your mother she birthed you but at the end of the day she got to take the training wheels off and let you make choices for yourself and you would hope that she, you know if because she, she put you on the right path that you invite her into your life to stay in your life number one and to consult with her uh about making the right choices in life it's that's the same thing satan is like bow to me because he has tricks behind that curtain okay he's not it's not for your good it's not for you to learn um the difference between righteousness and evil he wants you to go to that lake that's the only motivation that he has. He's going to the lake and he wants you going to the lake. He any seed line of Adam um he wants going to that lake because he wanted the he wanted all of this, the earth and everything for himself. So if they if he feels like if he gets you out the way, he think he got another shot. You really that's what it is. And there is no other shot. There is no other shot. There is no second chances for them. And the angels that follow him, they're going to the lake. That's that's the decision that the Most High made. The Most High, you know, that's 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 what the decision that he made. So, you know, it has to be honored. It's as simple as that. So, they're jealous that the Most High created us, and he gives a, he gave us a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Um we get to live life but it's just like i just y'all it burns me up that people especially like what i've been seeing from like these lady channels like because our grandmothers and people like they were so much into jesus that they use that as a way like no like people are silly and you know put up with all kind of foolishness because they that's what they allowed 
that's what they allowed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot blame the most high because I decided, as a grown woman, I decided to make certain choices. Now, my father was here with open arms waiting for me to, you know, to get back on track when I made, you know, when I mess up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, ready to guide me where I needed to go. But I just, y'all, the state, like, it's just so, the state of, like, women right now is, like, yo, like, just watching it is, like, crazy to me. Like, then you had these silly men who keep trying to present, uh, feminine feminine impersonating women as women and it's like we clearly know the whole agenda is to slander women with that and then it's just like in the in it in the really get into like i said men getting into the lust of the flesh because a lot of men if we be honest really want to get into that that's what they really want to get into there's nothing new under the sun but um also like i said like i think a lot of women got jammed up back in the day and today is because they don't have discernment and they don't they don't really take the time to really study to show their own self proof like i said like i get so many um so-called yasha realites reaching out to me on um, my other platforms like instagram and they it's one like it's one girl in particular they like they love to send me her videos and this is like not me even being like rude. I'm looking at, I'm like, I don't really give a blank about none of this girl's videos due to the group that she's affiliated with. And she's not up there saying anything profound. Like their version, like I said, of a Proverbs 31 woman in their mind is a doormat that is going to get into agreement with their, their narcissism, their religious narcissism. Because a lot of these people... Like I said, they have tried to take being a Yasha Relite and make it a religion. And it's like, oh, you need to dress this way. You need to do this. You need to do this. You need to do this. Not realizing that we do have our laws, statutes, and commandments and things that we're supposed to be doing. Yah also, when he is working on a person, he doesn't need you mouthing off at the mouth with your big mouth mouthing off at the mouth on what it is that person needs to do in their in their spiritual journey to mature to ascend into womanhood or to ascend into manhood whoever is supposed to plant the seed and whatever person is supposed to water that's their job but it's like ew, what i found in like being a yasharelite like you know being around some yasharelites is they always want to try to play savior to somebody or they always want to try to uh, pretend that their walk is so much better than another person's walk. It's really disgusting. And then they'll they'll push the women that are kind of, it's rock shaking upstairs. Like <laughs> they'll push the women that just go along with the wickedness that they say. Like they're the women that go along with the, the stupidity of anything that they say, they will push those women. And they also covet other people's wives too. So if a man got a dumb doormat, doormat uh, a silly woman lay in with sin and, you know, they will covet that woman. And it's like, so you already in violation because it's like, you're not, and what, what I think it is, is they want to send this woman's videos to other women in the hopes that the other women will become like this other woman for them so that they could have uh, like a, an idiot wife. And... My whole thing is, it's like, y'all makes a person's wife that is uh, specifically for whatever man he's raising up and whatever mission he has that man on. Every It's not a one mold, it's not a one mold woman that is the Proverbs 31. She just has to have the baseline stuff that is Proverbs 31 related, but Proverbs 31 doesn't mean that a woman is a, is an idiot or a door, is a doormat. There were plenty of women, like I said, in the Torah that were in leadership roles that were very witty and intelligent. And Abayah entrusted them with very serious um, missions in the Torah. So, and they were wives to uh, men in the, in the Torah. So, and even sometimes 
those women had to challenge the thought process of their man. So oftentimes when the Most High is trying to get you to grow, he will send somebody to challenge your thought process. If all of y'all is all thinking the same, that is group think. And your thought process is not being uh, challenged. Because the Most High might send you a wife to uh, change your... You've been doing this for 45 years. And the Most High can send you a wife. Well, don't you think it would be a little better if you... He'll put the idea in her mind. To tell you, don't you think it'd be it would be a little bit better for your your business if you if you did this, or you kind of did this and these changes and boom, it, it's just like understand like a wife a helpmate a helpmate is not a is not a dumb doormat. They have to be witty, they have to be savvy, and they have to be intelligent to manage things like the household and different things. And it was women that managed the household, vineyards and all kind of stuff and, and, and worked in the marketplace and all kind of stuff. So the Most High is not raising idiots for daughters. And I think that um, wicked men who like to twist scriptures have, and, and religious narcissistic men, they have used the Bible and other religious books to get women who don't think for themselves, who don't, read Torah and study to show thyself approved involved in um manipulate to, to be manipulated and controlled and as a woman you have got to stay on guard to know we are in a fallen world there are men looking to get over men there are women looking to get over you just have to like I said test the spirit don't be that silly woman laden with sin that just because a man say something out his mouth and he quote a few scriptures, you just throw everything else out the window. Because some of these, some of these men, especially the ones that present like they're conscious and religious, them be the worst ones. At least with somebody that you meet, like, you know, with that you could size up, you like, okay, they come in, they forth right out the gate telling you what they into. That's my thoughts, y'all.